Okay, listen up. It's time we address this elephant in the room. It's something we have overlooked because of our own white privilege and enjoyment. We have marginalized a group here. We have promoted white dominance. We have shut our gates to these asylum seekers who will enrich us. Of course, I'm talking about the Lord of the Rings and how it's racist towards orcs. And if you think I'm joking, just wait. I'm Ben Davies. This is Pure Hollywood. Duncan, a fiction writer, has brought this woke insanity back into the spotlight. You know, arguably the greatest fantasy book series in the past 150 years, and I would argue literally the best movie trilogy ever put to screen made 20 years ago, that still holds up to this day is somehow clearly racist towards orcs. Now, does the book promote killing people who look differently than you? Promote bigotry of any type of racial discrimination? No, of course not. At least not literally. Because of course, this must be some subconscious microaggression. Or a dog whistle that apparently and conveniently only left-wing nut jobs can hear. But that didn't stop our boy Andy, who claims the murderous and cannibal orcs are merely, quote, people that were only doing the Dark Lord's bidding. We're only doing so out of simple self-preservation, unquote. And that the orcs, quote, did not have a great deal of choice in the matter of what to do, unquote. You know, it's just not their fault they're gonna murder and kill a bunch of women and children and destroy the entire land and cover it in a second age of darkness. And this is my favorite, quote, it is easier to demonize one's opponents than try to understand them. And to understand the complex forces that are leading to, for example, refugees trying to cross the southern border of the U.S. legally or illegally, unquote. But don't worry, it's not just this nut job. And just to prove that the left is always insane and impossible to appease, this is The Guardian in 2002 calling the Lord of the Rings racist. Quote, in the good corner, the writers of Rohan, aka the white skins, where is that written? Anyway. Yellow is their hair, bright are their spears. Their leader is very tall. In the evil corner, the orcs, Visengard, a grim, dark band. Swart, slant-eyed, and the dark, wild men of the hills. So the good guys are white and the bad guys are uh, um, black, unquote. <laughs> Crazy is this? But just one more for good measure. Steven Shapiro, a then cultural studies academic at the University of Warwick in 2003, wrote, quote, put simply, Tolkien's good guys are white and the bad guys are black, slanted-eyed, unattractive, inarticulate, and a psychologically undeveloped horde, unquote. All of this, thankfully, did lead to some of the best memes I have seen all year. Like, why does Gondor need orc immigration to flourish as a prosperous society? Remember that it's a small minority of orcs that are responsible for the attacks on Gondor. <laughs> and this is just so true, it hurts. There's only one way the Shire should respond to the recent orc attacks. That is by carrying on exactly as before. <laughs> but hey, diversity is our strength and those men of Middle Earth should understand that. You know, just because they're invading, burning, killing, raping, destroying lives doesn't mean they're bad, you bigots. But this is really what I love so much about this. This reveals how desperate, how pathetic, and how completely contrived the narrative of the left of people in the West being marginalized is that they have to claim a group of people in a made-up fantasy book series are being oppressed by white men. Like, literally, how great is that when you think about it? Now, obviously, this is absolutely insane, but there are a few things that we can do. One, always ask yourself why. Always ask why this stance, why this attack on this specific thing, on this archetypal heroic masterpiece. Maybe because it conveys truth, examples, gives clear warnings, and inspires those who read it. And maybe because Tolkien wrote this, quote, the Lord of the Rings is of course a fundamental religious and Catholic work, unconsciously so at first, but consciously in the revision. And it's clear where his inspiration comes from and where these fundamental truths are embedded and received by millions. And two, we cannot stop mocking the ideology of the left. The reason why the left shuts down comedy is because at its core, the best comedy has an element of truth. You know, when you're like, oh, that's so true. If not, the comedy is cheap and money. Mundane, which is why the left cannot meme. So let's keep memeing guys and sending that truth out there. And three, literally go watch these three movies right now. Forget The Hobbit. These first three films are masterpieces inspired by the Bible, created by one of the greatest writers of our times, J.R.R. Tolkien, and brought to life by Peter Jackson. They are, in my mind, the greatest trilogy, not individual film, but trilogy ever put to film. Go, go, go watch these movies right now. I'm Ben Davies. This is Pure Hollywood. Did you enjoy that video? Of course you enjoyed that video. So now you need to become a premium member to the Rebel. That way you have first access to Pure Hollywood and the entire Rebel lineup.